Hi, my name is Shelley. I'm the founder of Hot House Yoga in Ormond Beach, Florida. And I wanted to share a little insight about the practice of yoga and this current pandemic. Much like everyone else, I've been at home for the last few months operating from my computer and my office chair. And so I needed a way to escape. So I came up with the sequence and I wanted to share it with you and I'll give you some insight on how I've used it in the last few months. So with that said, let's get up. Well, that, doesn't that sound so good? And as you get up, just take your chair over towards the left side of the room. We'll place our left foot right in the chair. Now the reason I like this is it sort of gets me up out of the chair. I can still be at my desk. I can still be watching my webinars, listening to the conversations, participating, and still get um, some movement out of the physical body. And you take your left forearm, you place it on the left knee, and you can just lean into that left leg and take the right arm up towards the sky. Now there's a counter stretch to this because the right arm is going to go over the head, but your right hip is going to go towards the right side of the room and it feels really good. So we're not going to get caught up in anatomical cues or any of those things. We're just looking for something that sort of feels good and releases any tension that's building up from the day and enjoying it. Now we're going to find a bit of a back bend at the same time. So maybe you start to open up that right elbow and look up towards the sky. Now if that left knee goes towards the office or towards the desk, just turn it out and that'll offer a little bit more of an opening through the back body. And we'll take the right hand, we'll place it down on the ground, and then the left hand's going to meet it. This is going to offer some stability. Because I want you to come up onto the tippy toe, pivot the heel, so that you can stand firmly on your right foot, so we can start to straighten the left leg. Now my left leg's a little bit tighter than my right, so I'm going to place my hands on the chair so I can extend my left leg all the way out and take a big breath in. Now initially you may be feeling this in your hamstring or maybe even in your lower back. But what I want you to start to consider is we want to elongate the spine as much as possible. Oh, and you take a big breath in and a big breath out. Now if you're looking to build some strength, you could always resist the chair at the same time. But I'm really trying to encourage all of us to sort of soften, whether it's into our moment or into our experience or into the body. We're going to lean a little bit more into that foot. So start to place the left foot on the mat. And as you lean forward, focus on the stretch of the back of your leg. Now you can also take your hands back to the top of the chair and drop your forearms down to the ground. So I've been doing a lot of this while I'm sitting in like a waiting room on Zoom. Or I'm waiting for documents to download or I'm waiting for a response on an email. And I have certainly been on my share of webinars lately for studio owners and we'll slowly back out of the pose. Start to lean back into that right foot, we'll place the left foot on it. And then drop the forearms down to the ground. Toe heeling your feet all the way out. We're going to take a wide legged straddle. Now I love this particular movement because it doesn't require a lot of effort. You just rock your hips from side to side. And this is great like when your piriformis is getting tight or your psoas is getting tight or you find yourself holding your breath because you watch something on social media. So just take a big breath in and start to sigh it out and let the hips soften, maybe the shoulders soften. If you want strength building, you just go to my YouTube channel and that will definitely offer you some insight into that. And we're going to layer on from here. So horse pose is a fan favorite. You turn your heels in and then you're going to sit down. Now we're going to rest our forearms here, but if you want to add on to it, you can take your right hand, plus it into that right thigh bone and just look over towards the right side of the room. You can still keep an eye on what's going on in your computer because you're not distracted in any other way. You're just making some simple movements happen and maybe you come up onto the ball of the right foot at the same time. Sort of relaxing into it, sinking a little bit lower. Now make sure you're on mute, especially if you're a heavy breather, because that never happens. And then lower the heel down to the ground, place your right forearm on, straighten your legs, turn your toes in. Still with me? Place your hands on the chair. Uh, bring your feet in closer. Now so we don't lose track, we're going to swivel to the other side so we can still watch our computer. Place the right foot on the chair. Extend our arms all the way out. 
place the right forearm on the right knee. And just like we talked about a little bit earlier, you want that knee to go closer towards away from your desk versus towards the desk. And the left arm is going to come up towards the sky. Now that you're going to use that left hip to push towards the left side of the room. And the left arm is going to go completely in the opposite direction. Still can totally watch what's happening on your computer, whether it's the news or your boss. And then start to open things up by drawing that uh, left elbow up and back. Look up towards the sky. Maybe you'll see if you have spider webs that need to come down. Uh, and sort of sink a little bit more into it. I don't know about you guys, but I lose track of time when I'm on my computer all day long. Place your left hand on the mat and then the right hand onto the mat. Come up onto the tippy toes, turn that heel out. Oh, lower the heel back down to the ground. And again, we're going to straighten the leg. So we're going to stretch that right leg back. Toes are going to come towards the nose. And again, you can place your hands either on the chair or the top. Maybe one of each if you need some stability. But the idea is we got to relax into it. And what does that look like for you to relax into it? Maybe it's your view. Oh, and then from here, you're going to bend into that front foot, lean forward. And again, you can place your forearms on the top of the chair. We're focusing on the left leg. That's what we're shooting for. It's a great stretch for the Achilles in the back of the calf. And since many of us are going to be home for the rest of the year, it's so good to find ways to sort of stay engaged with the body while you're still working from home. Maybe investing in a different chair. I recently went to buy one, and they now do it based on time. So place your hands on the chair. Lower the foot down to the ground. And one more time, drop your forearms down to the ground. So it's like a, or I'm sorry, towards the chair. It's kind of like a forward fold, isn't it? Now, if you want to go more, you don't have to use the chair. You could always take your hands all the way towards the floor, as I suggested earlier. But you're going to extend your legs out. And one more time, we're going to rock the hips from side to side. A nice isometric movement. Making it even better. Horse pose. Turn your heels in. Lower the sit bone towards the floor. This is great for your gracilius and your adductors. Now, my chair this time is too far away, so I'm going to slide it in a little bit. Place my left hand on the left knee. Look over towards the left side of the room. What's going on on the computer? Do I need to press pause? You come back to the video in a minute. Come up onto your tippy toe. Oh, get into the arch of the foot. This is great for somebody who has plantar fasciitis or bone spurs, right, to keep the circulation of the feet still going. I don't know about you guys, but I live in flip-flops all the time, so it's not necessarily structurally sound for the feet. Oh, but it feels good in this hot weather. Place your left forearm back down. Straighten your legs. Uh, turn your toes in. A big breath in. And a big breath out. You know, yogis talk about breathing all the time. Place your hands on the chair. And swivel that chair now back towards your desk. And we talk about it because it reduces the stress level, our anxiety, anything that gets, sort of gets provoked creates, you know, as my mom would call it, achita, and you're going to use blocks. So it's good to change the chair up a little bit, isn't it? And one of the things I like to do is, is use horse pose because it sort of widens the sit bones and takes some of the pressure off of my hip flexors. And you can use the top of your chair. Place your forearms on here. Gives you this um, connection between the tailbone and through the top of the head. And, you know, if you're really enjoying your day, you can rest your chin on your hand while still staying engaged. I hope you found this really helpful. I know I did. I love sharing. And again, you can always follow me on Instagram or Facebook. Have a great day. Namaste.